Now, on the the CDC extending that, I think if I understand it correctly, the way they have, you know, somewhat circumvented the prior ruling is that they're they're only extending the moratorium in quote hot spot areas. Um, and what, what does that mean? That, that's really up to their discretion, I suppose. But uh, but yeah, that's that's how they're um, skirting it right now. Um, so take take that whatever it is. But yeah, it's you know we we have people, we have institutions overstepping bounds to do certain things. Um, and when I say that, I don't mean that politically. I just mean like, yeah, as our how how our government is structured, it, it's an overstep for sure. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we we have all these people doing this, and when, when you have to wonder why and, and and for what reasons, I mean, I think it's easy to say like we want to help those who need assistance, um, but when you help those at the expense of others, it's you know it, is that help? So you know, I, I, my personal opinion, I'm you know, we're we're kind of doing it a little backwards. Yeah. I think the biggest problem too, why that $47 million is sitting there or billion, sorry. Yeah, billion. <laughs> um, it's because they haven't done a very good job of telling landlords how they can get that money. They're, they're, and they're not showing. That, Wendy. <laughs> so, so what are they? Do you know? Well, there's audited financials, you know, as to what they're really doing. And, 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 you know, when the typical landlord owns, you know, one to four uh, single family homes, you know, they're just trying to stay afloat. Right. You know, they're not professionals. What does it cost right. to get an audited financial guys? Yeah. Cost you know, right. Yeah. I mean, most, most of the guys that we deal with that have one to four homes that are rentals. I mean, if I, if I asked them to, to produce a P and L, they would say, well, what's a P and L, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so like they, they don't have that sophistication. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're hundred percent yeah. right there. And, you know, the what the, the 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 opportunity that we see, you know, Eddie coined it, guys, burnout landlords. Right. Yeah. There are a lot of burnout landlords right. out there right now that want to sell and want what you guys, you know, this show is all about. And that is passive income. Right. Why did people buy a land, mm -hmm. buy a, a rent property? They wanted passive income. But they, right. did they ever get passive income? No. But boy, if they can sell it to us and we can resell it on a wrap note or subject to or whatever, there's an opportunity there. Yeah, you can still That's get right. passive income. You heard it here. Right.